Hey YouTube, this is Ivy, and today I'm going to show you guys how I install and style my yummy Caribbean wave hair. I made a U-part wig, and the hair is colored. I do have a video explaining exactly how I colored this hair, and I will have those details below. But first, I'm going to start off showing you guys my braiding pattern. I like to do two anchor braids by my leave out, and I like my leave out to be shaped like a V. And I like to do two anchor braids on the perimeter of my head. Then I just take my braids back and forth. It's not really neat because I'm just going to put on a U-part anyway. And this is the hair. And this is how I make my U-parts that I sew in. As you guys can see, it's really flat. The leave-out portion, it's really small. I try to make it as small as possible. And it's shaped like a V, just like my leave out on my head. And I'm just placing the U part on my head. And I like to begin sewing on one side of the U part at the very front. And then I'm just going to go ahead and sew the sides. I usually do one side and then sew the other side and then I sew the back of my head. Because that way it helps the U part stretch and it fits really snug. So when I'm done with it, it feels just like a sew in. So when you're stitching, just make sure to pull the thread through the cap and a little bit through the hair. And just pull it closed and keep stitching until you get all the way behind your ear I'm doing the loop and pull method and this will help the U part stay tight and it will create that flat smooth base and sometimes I go over my stitching twice just so my U part won't move or get loose too fast I'm gonna go ahead and go to the other side I'm just doing the same method again I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how it looks when you pull it back it's really really smooth so if the wind blows you won't see any tracks so people will think it's a sew-in now just go ahead and sew the back of your head just lift your hair up and begin sewing around the perimeter braid it's really really simple I'm not gonna show that on camera because I do the same thing as the front and now I'm just going to pull over the tracks and sew it on my leave out. It's really important to sew one side and then sew the other side and then sew the very back. Because you want this to fit perfectly. You don't want any lumps and bumps because that will give you a strange looking leave out and you'll be able to see the tracks. Now I'm done. Now the trick to perfect blending is a small amount of leave out. As you guys can see, I hardly have any leave out. The flat iron I'm using is my Cortex iron. I have it on 350. 
and I blow dried my hair straight with my Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Serum. And I'm just giving my hair a quick flat iron, nothing too serious. This is what I always do. And for my edges, I always put my Jamaican black castor oil on them. And that's pretty much it. Everybody's hair texture is different, you guys. So some people hair flat irons easier than others. But now I'm going to begin curling my hair. And I'm using a one inch iron. And I'm just going to do loose barrel curls going away from my face. As you guys can see, this hair holds a nice curl. But I did notice as you like go outside and the weather and everything gets to it, the hair doesn't hold a curl for very long. So I'm probably going to have to use like flexi rods on this hair if I want to keep a tight curl in it. And now I'm going to use a bigger curling iron. I believe this is a one and a half inch. And I'm going to use that to make my curls in the front because I don't want really tight curls around my face because I want it to blend a lot better. And I will post below the names of all the curling utensils I'm using. So please be sure to check the bottom bar. It has a lot of information about what I'm using and what I'm doing and other previous videos to help you get more information on the hair. Why do I make that face when I'm curling my hair? Does anybody else do that? It looks so retarded. I just noticed I do that. So now I'm going to take a large paddle brush. I'm just going to brush through my hair to loosen up some of the curls. I'm going to go ahead and flip the hair back in the front and then pull it back forwards just to get that natural layering look. I didn't cut any layers. These are all natural from the hair. And these are just different angles of the hair. I really, really love this style. The color makes the curls pop. If you guys enjoyed this video, Please don't forget to thumb me up, comment, and subscribe. And leave comments below just letting me know things that you guys might want to see next. And please don't forget to check out my last video showing you how I colored this hair. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye.